What up everybody, uh, Grom Trooper here and uh, today we're on a slightly different motorcycle than normal. I, uh, I got my dad's CTX 700N out here and uh, it's all of about 40 degrees outside today but I wanted to go for a ride since it is sunny and clear so uh, yeah that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Like a little chilly, but uh, I finally found my Thinsulate Ponce. So, uh, yeah, can, uh, can go out and have a good time with things and, uh, you know, not turn my legs into icicles. This is a crazy thing about New Mexico winters is just looking outside, aside from the fact that, you know, everything's dead. It looks like an absolutely gorgeous day out today. This is a, a very interesting motorcycle to ride and uh, normally when somebody says something's interesting uh, they mean it's shite but uh, no I, I really like the feel of this bike uh, the suspension's a little bouncy for me because my dad's a good you know 80 to 100 pounds heavier than I am and four inches taller than me but uh, like overall this thing Super freaking comfortable. Yeah, we'll go this way. Why not? Blink. It's like riding a damn couch around. Just had a minor panic attack because uh, I had remembered that the last time I went to start this for my dad, it was super low on fuel. And uh, I had space that I did put fuel in it. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I'm gonna run out of gas. Oh yeah. Oh man, my chin's gonna get a little cold. So's my nose, but uh, other than that, rest of me is at least comfortably warm, if not toasty warm. Like I said, these gloves on their lowest setting above freezing, freaking perfect. We'll see how they handle uh, 50 miles an hour down tramway. Very different power band than I'm used to, but uh, it does what it needs to do. So yeah, this is a 2014, I want to say, CTX 700N. Um, it is not the DTC version as you can see, it's adult shifter, um, and if you want to know how I feel about DTC, uh, you should check my T Public store. I have a shirt in there that kind of just summarizes my thoughts on it. And uh, yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> in fact, uh, I'm a little upset that, uh, bro, no, no lady. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm, I'm a little upset that uh, it's rumored that Honda is going to be releasing the uh, new Rebel uh, 1100 that has the Africa twin engine in it in a DTC variant. Um, mostly because I think that having that is going to drive up the cost of the base bike as well. And uh, it's going to make it that much harder to find parts for the, uh, the manual transmission version, if you will. But enough about that bike that hasn't been released yet that I definitely don't want to spend money I don't have on. Uh, let's talk about this bike that I also don't own, but uh, I would probably spend money on. And uh, that's for a couple of reasons. One, this thing is so damn comfortable. There's a couple of things I'd like to change about it. Um, and a couple of things we already did change about it from the uh, the factory settings. So we'll, we'll touch on those in a bit. But uh, just uh, even as it stands right now, I got, I got a couple of complaints about it. But also the fact that it's set up for somebody who's so much taller than me and all of his height above me is in his legs. Uh, I got a pretty long torso, but uh, kind of stubby legs by comparison. 
so all of the uh we we got the the floorboards that we put on it and they're set way forward for me so like i keep wanting to use them like pegs first things first what i like about this bike uh i like the suspension on it now i know a lot of people have had complaints about the suspension on this bike which is why the second we got it we swapped out the rear mono shock for an olin's and uh I, I think that made a big difference. Um, my dad was bottoming out the the factory shock all the way tightened down. You wanna you wanna? Is this a go straight lane? It is a go straight lane. Yeah, we'll go up that way. Fuck it. So. We swapped out the factory shock right away. And I like the OLED shock. I like it a fuck ton. Uh, as I said earlier, this is like riding a couch around. And, uh, you know, as a, a cruiser bro, so to speak, uh, comfort is a big deal for me on motorcycles. And, uh, you know, being comfortable while I'm riding is very important to me. Thing, uh, definitely not as street fightery as the rebel is she don't like to uh, just dive straight into a turn but uh, you know I guess that's to be expected with a bike that's uh, quite a bit heavier so I like the suspension on it I like the comfort on it from a seat standpoint this is the factory seat still uh, and it's very cushy for your butt so that's always a plus. I think I'm gonna need to uh, harass my dad about adjusting the brakes on this though, because they're spongy, 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 and then grab. Um, I, I like the look of it. It's uh, it's very futury. Uh, my dad's got some bags on the back of it here. Not necessarily my style, but I don't think they detract a ton from the look of the bike. What does detract a ton from the look of this bike is when it has the stupid factory fairing on the non-naked version. It looks like this thing has a tumor on its face. And uh, from a design standpoint, I think that's one of the stupidest things Honda has ever done. But, you know, whatever. We don't have the the, the touring or the fully fared version here. Uh, and uh, I'm very, very appreciative of that. So... Uh, I like the display cluster. Uh, you know, you got a tachometer, you got a speedo, you got a fuel gauge, you got a clock, you got a trip meter. Like, all of it's right there, very easy to look at. It doesn't stand up and out of the way like the one on uh, the, the Rebel and the, the Grom does. Ooh, and now we're going to find out how it does going over some speed bumps. Oh buttery smooth amazing <laughs> some of you may remember me going down this road on my uh, my grom and uh pretty much rocketing myself into a low earth orbit when i hit these speed bumps but uh that one was a little bit worse but you know, that's that's not bad at all my butt didn't even come off the seat so as far as like a a day trip touring bike this thing would be absolutely amazing and I, I think that's mostly what my dad's gonna end up using it for anyway I don't think he has any intent of uh, you know going on long road trips with this bike the factory pegs were kind of meh they're a little bulky a little big and uh, I don't know my feet just didn't sit, sit right on them so we got some uh, I believe cure you can uh, floorboards for it and installed those and uh i really wish i would have uh, filmed installing the mods i did on this bike because i did a radiant gp exhaust and uh as i said the uh Kuryukin floorboards or whatever brand they are i'll look them up and put them in the description but uh i did those two things and uh Holy moly, were they easy to do. Um, oh, and I put the bar and mirrors on. That's 
there's nothing new for me there. Oh yeah. That feels good. And even as a tall person, with my feet on the floorboards, there's enough room to stick my knees into the dents in the tank, which is such a goddamn rarity for me. And uh, I think my dad's will still clip the top here. Cause like I said, his legs are a bit longer than mine, but. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When we got this thing, it had like 2,200 miles flat on it. Um, I think I put like 20 miles going around the parking lot at the shop after doing modifications to it, testing those out, testing the rear suspension, and then, uh, yeah. We're gonna put some decent miles on her today. Woo! Yeah, she's a little sluggish at the power bat. Um, but again, this is only 200 more cc's than my Rebel 500 and it weighs, I think, 120 pounds more. Plus, you put my fat ass on it, that doesn't help. It's good to see so many bikes out today. <laughs> my head gonna be cold. I got my adventure helmet on and uh, yeah the vents don't close on this helmet I'm sure there's gonna be some uh, ample wind noise at this point and uh, sorry not sorry for that because I needed some two-wheel therapy and this poor little baby needed to go out and be on the road oh this is amazing this thing is so smooth for a ride like if I had a throttle lock on this, I could do this all day. Like, I'm barely even getting any vibration through the floorboards. None in the seat at all. Love it, I love it, I love it. The one thing that's really driving me crazy is these handlebars have a bit too much pullback. So, I feel like my arms are, my elbows are bowed in. It's a little weird. I don't think I've seen more bikes out today than I did uh, last time when it was absolutely gorgeous outside and I didn't need uh, heated gloves and stuff like that. Pretty hilarious. Get that one nice weather day and uh, everybody loses their shit. And they're like, gotta go ride, gotta go ride now. And I know, because I was that guy. <laughs> I suppose it is the day after Christmas too, so I hope everyone has had really good holidays. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get around to editing this video. Maybe today even. Well, we shall see. Oh yeah. No. So, I, I aside from all of the, the minor things on this bike I don't like, um, pretty much every complaint that I've had is something you can change out. You can get different bars for it. You can put different pegs on it. You know, I, I just need to adjust these floorboards back about two inches if uh, I was going to be riding this bike on the regular. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not. It's just on uh, loan to me while my dad gets some equipment delivered to his house. And uh, where he normally parks the bike is right in the way where the forklift is going to go. So, uh, you know. Yeah. He, uh, he lent it to me in the, in the meantime here. So, I figured it'd be a great excuse to go out and review the thing. But, uh, as far as stars go, like, I'm gonna give this, like, a 4 out of 5. Like, it's a great mid-sized motorcycle. Um, I don't know if I'd want to take it on super long road trips. Uh, purely because of the the cargo capacity on it. I have a feeling adding like a sissy bar type bag to this would be a challenge. The, the bags on it now aren't small. Um, I'd classify them as medium sized bags. They are hard bags. You're kind of limited to what you could put in there. But I bet if I put on a decent sized backpack and uh, 
compressed my spine a little bit. Like I, I could do a cross country trip on this bike, um, but I don't want to. Would much rather take something like the, the VTX and uh, just, you know, put everything on the bike so I don't have to worry about it. Why are there flashy lights up ahead? I don't like that. Oh, I do love riding into the sun though. Oh, that feels good. So yeah, four, four out of five stars for the, the CTX 700N non-DTC version. We get the DTC version, zero out of five stars. Um, you might as well just put your body in a bucket and light it on fire. So yeah, I think we'll we'll end the video there for now. I'll probably do a whole another video about more of the modifications that we made to this bike in the future. But uh, I figured today we'd just go have a nonchalant conversation and uh, enjoy this beautiful fucking weather. Oh, and it is beautiful out. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video there today for guys. Thanks so much for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.